Hi, I'm Steve Endo, and I'm a Microsoft Dynamics GP MVP. Today I'd like to review the latest release of the Dynamics GP Transaction Search Tool. GP Transaction Search provides fast transaction search windows for Microsoft Dynamics GP. Version 2.0 provides payables, receivables, and SOP transaction search windows. Each window provides several search fields that can be used to filter the results in real time in order to produce very fast search results. The windows also have drill down capability, allowing you to drill into the master record such as vendor or customer, as well as the transactions that are displayed in the grid. GP Transaction Search is free and open source. For more information and to download compiled releases, visit my website at precipioservices.com Click on Products and navigate to the Free Products section. If you're interested in reviewing the source code or contributing to the product, please visit GitHub and search for GP Transaction Search or navigate to stevendo slash GP Transaction Search. There are a few prerequisites for GP Transaction Search. It is currently available for GP 2013 through 2018, so the Dynamics GP client must be installed on the machine. It utilizes .NET Framework 4.5.2, and the version 2.0 release uses the Winthrop Dexterity Consultants Visual Studio Integration Toolkit. That toolkit is available for download from the winthropdc.com website, and it is also a free product. Installation of the GP Transaction Search is fairly straightforward. You'll need local administrative rights on the machine where you're performing the installation, You'll also need SQL Server admin rights or sufficient rights to run store procedure scripts. To start the install, you'll run the provided store procedure scripts against each company database. You'll then copy the GP transaction search files to the GP add-in subdirectory, and then you'll launch GP. Let's take a look at that process. Here I have a Dynamics GP 2018 machine and I have the files required to install the GP Transaction Search for GP 2018. I'm going to start by installing the Visual Studio Integration Toolkit. Click on Next. Accept the terms. Click on Next. Confirm the installation directory where GP is installed. Click on Next. And proceed with the installation. and the installation is complete. Next, I'm going to open SQL Server Management Studio and run the three store procedure scripts that are included with this version in order to install those against each company database. So here I have the CSSP SOP transaction search, run that, the RM transaction search, and then the PM transaction search. Once the store procedures are installed in all company databases, you can minimize or close SQL Server Management Studio. The last step is to copy the three files required for GP Transaction Search and paste them into the Dynamics GP add-in subdirectory. After copying the files, right-click on each file, select Properties, and make sure that in the general tab, there is not an unblock check mark or an unblock button. If you see either of those, you'll want to make sure to unblock each of the files. And you need to perform this process on all three of the files after they are copied. With the installation completed, let's launch Dynamics GP. After installing the Visual Studio Integration Toolkit, when you first launch Dynamics GP, it's going to prompt you to check for updates automatically. So I will select Yes, and then I'll choose to check in one week. The next step that I recommend is to create a shortcut to the Visual Studio Integration Toolkit About window. So I'll right click, click on Add, Window. I'll scroll down to the bottom, expand Visual Studio Integration Tool, and select the About window and Add. I can then click on this shortcut. And if you haven't yet registered the Integration Toolkit, you can click on the Registration button. Registration is free and is required for each site installation of Dynamics GP. 
Once that's completed, you can click on the Inquiry menu, select Sales, and you should see the RM Transaction Search and SOP Transaction Search custom menus. When you click on these, it will bring up the custom GP Transaction Search window for that module. Version 2.0 also includes the PM Transaction Search, providing three different custom search windows. The search is very fast and has several filters. I can press Enter to refresh the data, or on certain fields, the data will refresh automatically as I type. So as I type the vendor ID, the results are automatically filtered based on this date range and this vendor ID value. I can simultaneously search across all fields. Once I have my search results, I can right-click on each row, select View Vendor to pull up the Vendor Inquiry window, or I can view the actual underlying transaction. You can also double-click on each row in order to see the transaction in GP. The Stop Transaction Search window provides the same fields, however it also includes an item number and item name combined search field. So I can quickly find SOP transactions, can drill into those transactions, and can even search by item number. So as you can see, the GP transaction search windows provide a very simple, fast way to find transactions in Dynamic GP. So as you can see, the installation process is very simple and very quick, and you'll be up and running in a few minutes. If you do use the GP transaction search tool, I'd love to get your feedback. I'd love to know how you're using it, how those search windows are helping you or your organization. How much faster are the search windows than the standard GP inquiry windows? And also, how large are your company databases? We're seeing that larger GP company databases have slower performance with the standard GP inquiry windows, so we're interested in knowing how fast the GP transaction search windows operate on those larger databases. If you have any questions, please visit the Precipio Services website and click on the contact link and submit a request and I'd be happy to get back to you. If you'd like to learn more, follow me on Twitter at Steve Endo, or check out my blog at dynamicsgpland.blogspot.com.